All right, Ian, Commodore 64 clone with a working keyboard. I feel like we've discussed this before. So I think it's just back in the news again because it's actually finally, um, it's actually happening. So um, about a, what, I think it was earlier this year, um, about a year ago, uh, there was a tiny uh, clone of the Commodore 64 that was released. The Mini, the in, six, mini C64. The C64 Mini. Uh -huh. um, the... It had like a fully molded keyboard. It was very pretty looking and all that. But the keyboard didn't work. Um, basically, you plugged it into your TV, you plugged in a joystick, and off you went playing the games. It came with the, the, the joystick yeah. from back in the day. So, so that I mean, people were upset that the the you know the uh, keyboard didn't work and you couldn't you know use it more. I'm type like this. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't use it more um, like an actual Commodore sixty four. Or maybe load on more games or whatever. Yeah. I think you could have loaded them on. That I'm not certain about. But anyways, so they uh, have announced... I think they announced it back when this Kickstarter happened, but they put it off for the C64 Mini. Now we're getting the C64. It's a full-size um, Commodore 64 uh, with a working keyboard, uh, HDMI out, and uh -huh. uh, it looks pretty great. Um comes with basic pre-installed and the neat thing is there's three modes for it you can have it function like a classic commodore 64 uh you can have it function like a vic 20 and you oh. can have it function out of the box like it is with you know all the included stuff so um it can do a lot more than i probably would have ever expected this to do i figured okay. it might have been a plug and play with an interesting you know keyboard that you could use to navigate around and that might be fun um but it actually seems like it can be used as a as a commodore um has the same collection of games that the mini has okay that's good so uh um, so the mini was about a hundred dollars i believe um what's is, is 120 a, okay this is going to be 120 which i think is i mean perfectly reasonable so Honestly. I would just get this because this, this does everything the mini does plus more. Yeah, it just depends on how much space you want to take up. But um, I think this is definitely the cooler option, and I'm glad to see it finally coming. But this uh, this does not out. come with a joystick though. But I'm sure it's probably USB. You can probably does it have, no, it has a joystick. Oh, you do get the, you, you, yeah. you, you get the joystick with it. Yeah, you do. Which I think was reviewed well, but you get that crappy ass joystick, and I'm sure you can hook up your own pad to it. Yep. So, where's um, the game list? We got the game list. That here I, that i do not have here's the trailer for the c64 here our wedding commodore 64 and vhs that's kind of a weird intro snazzy snazzy rendering stunning hd graphics stunning. i think it's 7 720p it, it, it's it's doing it's about the probably the most you want for a commodore 64 so We've got california games there here's here's a game list i'm not going to go through all of it because holy shit there's a lot but um some big ones uh alley cat um, Boulder Dash, California Games, Chips Challenge. Okay. Um, both Cybernoid, uh, Cybernoid, Cybernoid games. Cybernoid. Uh, both Impossible Missions. Um, let's see. Skate Crazy. School Days. School Days is cool. Um, yeah, Summer Games too. Okay. Etc. Winter Games, World Games, all those really cool epics games it's, that I loved playing. Is it sixty four games? How many games? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. I'm, the I'm mini. Not, I'm not counting. I think the mini had list. 64 to be cute. Okay. Okay. That looks like it could be. Don't you get snippy? I just asked. I don't know if those numbered the list. I don't have. This. What website is that on with the with the? With no, the no. List? My, my my tummy just rumbled when I was responding to you. It wasn't you. I was upset with. I was upset with my stomach. Oh, no, you were getting weird. snippy anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I was just stomach telling you to calm down a bit. I think you calm down. So okay. So when is this coming out? When we, when we got this coming out? Uh, December fifth. One hundred twenty dollars bunch of games uh you you can load up probably more roms if you figure out how with the the four usb ports okay there's four of them okay there's only two on the um the mini yeah uh okay and and vic 20 which i know they don't think i know nothing about Commodore 64 i know less about the vic 20 <laughs> i feel like i know more about vic 20 because really? for whatever reason more vic 20 games come into luna than anything commodore 64 more of those longer ass beige cream no, cartridges so ugly <laughs> yes no those. graphics at all just words yep like sea battle. I think we've got like spider slaughter. And I don't know. I want to play spider slaughter. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's spider slaughter. It's is probably, that a game? It's probably, I think it's called Spider hey, City. Hey, home, home community, make a Vic Twenty spider, <laughs> spider slaughter <laughs> with Ian's face on the spiders. 
Oh, that's awful. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, I think after this, this is probably the most, I mean, obviously the ZX Spectrum didn't come out here. You think there'd be a, a mini version of that? Or, I don't think anyone's going to touch or that. I think that the while. handheld didn't do well at all. Uh, that that kind of went belly up. People are going to stay away from that. Yeah. What about the, what was the one? The Dragon? What was the Dragon? Was that a Dragon was a TI. That was a, that was a TI clone? It was a TI clone. Okay. Uh, we can, maybe it was the BBC Micro. Maybe BBC we'll... Micro Mini? <laughs> or the TI, the, 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 the Timex Sinclair uh, Mini, right? We can do that one, right? I, I, I found those at the swap meet before. Two of them. Really? Yeah. Sinclairs? Yeah. Weird. Little guys. The little, uh, the little smaller ones, yeah. Really strange. Uh, they're now hidden in my in my uh, house of a uh, garage of computer horrors where there's just boxes and boxes of stuff that when I die, Metal Jesus Rock is gonna haul away gladly in his in his uh, U-Haul van. <laughs> I should start leaving. Uh, I should have a living will for all my video game stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you want my? What do you want my PC engine stuff? Turbo stuff? Is that what you want? Sure. Sell my magical chase. At Luna Video Games. I don't know. Two locations. <laughs> All right, that's enough for the... I might actually be interested in something like this. I actually might uh, for this, having little experience with Commodore 64 besides Lemonade Game. I still might have interest in this. All my friends had a Commodore 64. We used to play the Epics games on there, like 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 the G.I. Joe game and the, you know, the Winter game, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I loved Epics Winter games. That was like one of my favorite games as a kid. Okay. 